why should black lives matter? Yeah? If this doesn't matter. Why would freedom matter? We're saying black lives matter. But at the end of the day, black lives won't matter if black people, white people, all people from around the world aren't out and coming together. As promised, today's report is about the actual anti-lockdown protest itself. Because before I was bizarrely tackled to the ground and arrested, I actually spent about two to three hours walking around and talking to the protesters as they were marching. When I finally got home and switched on my TV, there were two things I noticed when watching back the mainstream media reports. The first thing was the glaring contrast in their reporting in comparison to how they reported the Black Lives Matter rally. And secondly, they seemed to only show specific faces in their reports. They were trying to perpetuate a certain stereotype of crazy, violent, white conspiracy theorists. Unfortunately for them, I was there for long enough to be able to bring you the truth. So, share it far and wide. ABC News. Are you guys all of, is it ABC? Where were you at Black Lives Matter? Supporting it? Filming it, I know, but do, you know, on ABC they've been quite against these protests. I know. I can't comment on but, that stuff, no. man. I'm just telling you I was first. Do you not see the double standard? Did you see that right squad there? Freedom. ABC journalists. ABC News is cool with this when it comes to protests they disagree with. It's unclear as to what police will do to try and defuse this crowd, which is, of course, an illegal one. But Black Lives Matter, yeah, they were there. They were there. They saw that this wasn't any... This kind of response was not at the Black Lives Matter protest. We are live in Melbourne. Margaret Paul is there for us. Um, what sort of numbers are you seeing there, Margaret? Lorna, it's very hard to guess how many numbers there would be there, but we've been in contact with other reporters at different points along the protest here in Melbourne, and our early estimate is as much as 5,000 people have gathered here in central Melbourne. They're outside the front of State Parliament here in the middle of Melbourne. Um, they're stretching down Spring Street and down Burke Street, um, arguing that Black Lives Matter. They supported those rallies on the streets during COVID, but suddenly... This crowd, which is, of course, an illegal one, True, it was deemed illegal, but you know what else was illegal? The Black Lives Matter rally. And we didn't see roadblocks, we didn't see the riot squad, and we certainly didn't see violent arrests of journalists at that protest. And ABC wasn't there cheering on police brutality. You know, you know what else the ABC didn't show? The next few people I spoke to at the rally, because these protesters don't suit their narrative. Boys. How you doing, brother? You alright? Yeah, are you local? Um, yes, I am. Can I ask you something? No. Tell me. And the, the, did you come for this today? Obviously, exercise. Yeah. You're here for exercise, yeah? No, I'm you, coming for this. You came for the protest. <laughs> so a few weeks ago, they let the Black Lives Matter rally protest go ahead, and this one they didn't. Why do you think that's the case? Because this one ends. Um, this one ends the division, and this one makes all of us one as we should be, and and. Um, yeah, and that's the truth. Does Black Lives Matter not do that? Um, well, all lives matter, and we should all be here. That's why I'm here. Not long ago, they allowed the Black Lives Matter rally to go ahead. They didn't allow this one. Why do you think that's the case? Uh, it suits whatever they want. It suits their agenda. We, we stand together strong together. So just stay together, try not to stay divided, and we can, we can overcome this. And here we are trying to fight for our freedom, and yet again, they're trying to shut this down. Yeah, that does seem weird, doesn't it? That, that, that was an American issue, but they let it go. But something about here... So you, you believe that that's just corruption? Oh yeah, of course. Black Lives Matter, it only, it only comes every four years, every, every election. You know, and this is something that they should really think about because this is real Australians, real citizens trying to stand up for their rights and yet again trying to shut us down. That's what they're trying to do and they're trying to, you know, trying to break us apart. Are they going to succeed? They're not. With a sign, they're taking it seriously. <laughs> rest time is just as important. In your rest time, let's have a chat. Absolutely. So tell me, today they promised that no feet will touch the ground. Seems like a couple feet touch the ground. I think a lot of feet touch the ground, brother. You know what, at the end of the day, regardless of how much feet have touched the ground, regardless of what the turnout might be, the fact that all of us are here united, this is not a protest, this is not a rally, this is one big family. It's called Australia. Yeah, and we are walking together for our freedom. That's all we are doing. We do not want violence. We are not here to riot. We are not here to 
protest against police in a violent way. We are here to speak our truth. We are here to speak our opinions and minds and show how much love, determination we have to get out of this lockdown. <laughs> you don't have to like these guys. You don't have to support them. You don't even have to agree that it's their right to protest during COVID-19. But if that's the case, you better have been against the Black Lives Matter protest too. Otherwise, you're a hypocrite like the ABC. One of the most interesting blokes that I spoke to that definitely didn't make the ABC report that night was from an, a strong ethnic community in Melbourne's north. He told me his community have turned against their left-wing government because of the lockdown. He reckons that they now care more about the lockdown than they care about welcoming in more refugees. It sounds mad, but his reasoning makes total sense. Do you reckon that the lockdown is a more important issue to that community now than it is? Is there a point of immigrants being able to come here if they're coming here to the same situation that they fled from? Do you get what I mean? 100%. Like they're, they're fleeing from uh, very corrupt places. They're coming here for a free life. <laughs> this ain't free. Do you get what I mean? It's just... What's your background? Turkish. Turkish. If you like that report you just saw, make sure to like it. Press the little button at the bottom there. Let people know you love it. And then share it. And subscribe to Rebel News on YouTube now.